cheese, glorious cheese. Tastes mighty inviting. Cheese, glorious cheese. It's so tantalizing. Whether you like it saucy. Uh, oh, it's cold like today. It saucy. Remember that? Yeah, that. Yeah, it's from the National Dairy Board. It turns 29 today. Wow. And really, what is there not to like about cheese? A sweet, creamy saltiness. Milk Part protein. Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Uh, well, today is National Cheese Lovers Day, and we will celebrate. And in honor of this sacred food holiday, I decided to try my hand at making my own fresh mozzarella. Uh, but I did have a little bit of help. Who am I kidding? A lot of help. <laughs> inside or inside in the kitchen. If there is anywhere to celebrate International Cheese Lovers Day, it is here, Maurice. They've been in the business since the 1940s, but today they face their biggest challenge, teaching me how to make mozzarella. All right, here to help us celebrate is Dan, who's the education meister yeah, sure. here at Murray's. What are we gonna do? These are pasta falata cheeses, meaning pulled curd. We're going to take some unaged mozzarella curd, we're gonna heat it up, we're gonna stretch it, we're gonna roll it into a ball and turn it into the delicious fresh mozzarella that we all know and love. So let's take a look at the, the curd that's uh, this cube on your plate here. Pick it up, take a look. Go ahead and give it a taste. Break off a little piece. Okay. It doesn't taste like anything. Right? It's kind of yeah. boring, right? Do you yeah. know what's missing? Salt. Salt, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is okay. just water straight out of the tap, as hot as your tap can go. We just want to bring that curd up to room temperature mm -hmm. so that when we add the really hot water, uh, it doesn't have to work so hard to heat up. It just feels like you're playing with your food. Are we making mozzarella soup? Is this what you're supposed to do with it? Okay. So if we were actually making mozz, I would never want you to do what you're doing right now. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, My second batch. Yeah, second batch here. Just take your container uh, here and just dump the water out. Leave your curd in the bowl. Now we're going to break up our mozzarella curd to increase the surface area again so that when we add our really hot water, it doesn't have to work too hard to melt. So just go ahead in there and give them a squeeze and break them up. So all of this is going to come back together? Absolutely. Yep. What's the weirdest, like, form that somebody has made? I have a feeling you're going to make the weirdest <laughs> form that we've ever seen. We're going to add some salt. One, two, That seems like a three, lot. Is that a pinch? And four. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice big old pinch. So then we just toss the salt in there to coat. So this water is sitting around 170 degrees. It's hot. Okay. So all we do is we're just working the curd towards the center of the bowl. All right. Do I have to use my fingers? What's that? I mean, there's pretty much no other way to get handmade mozzarella without <laughs> using your hand. We're adding more hot seconds. water? We're gonna add more, yeah, it's not hot enough. You can see already, we are getting good and wow. melty. Look at that. Lift the whole pulled guy out of there. Fold it over <laughs> a couple of times so it gets this nice and smooth, luscious texture there. So we're gonna put it back in the water. We wanna keep it hot. Get right in the middle there and we're gonna take a big old pinch right out of the center. And now just let it stretch. And you could gently guide it with your other hand. We're making a ribbon, all right? Want that ribbon to be about two, three fingers wide. And as soon as your ribbon's long enough, just let it fall back into the bowl. Go ahead and just rip off what you got. Rip off the rest. We're gonna work with the ribbon that we have so far. And you're gonna roll it up. Yep. Now, we're gonna make an okay sign with our right hand. The most important thing is to keep your thumb and your index finger together at all times. Put that okay sign right on top of your croissant. Right. And you're push the curd oh. through your hand. Through the okay. hole. Tuck more of your mozzarella curd. So what we're gonna do is just take your other hand and just snip right on top and rip, rip what's in your hand out. And you're just gonna tuck it in. Just tuck it under the bottom of the ball. Uh, the cool water is gonna help solid up that shape there. And okay. you're good to go, that's it. And that's it? Finished product. Alrighty. This doesn't get any fresher than this. Yeah, it's actually really good. Proves that I can make something, not very well, but something. Happy Cheese Day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> so voila, this is yes. mine. This is the finished product that I and made. I thought we had, wow. No, you no, no. Out. Okay, I, I've got, that's your uh, actual ball. This is my actual mozzarella ball. Uh huh. So, um, here, here you got it. Wow. Um, Wow. Want to dig in? Thanks for displaying that for us. It looks like you. <laughs> so it, I found out well that it yourself. really wasn't tougher, mind me while I cut the cheese, um, that it's really not that tough of a process oh. to make mozzarella. Yeah. Um, it's really just salt and fat. Really? At the end of the day. Yeah. And we have some now. You enjoy that. Did I mention I'm lactose intolerant? Oh, no.